Like after all those scary tombs and catacombs, Scoob, it sure is a relief to be in nice, safe Cairo. The good news is we're alive. The bad news is that shawarma stand doesn't open until breakfast time. Fourteen whole minutes. We'll stop. Like they sure didn't stop. Words in hieroglyphic rhythm, Pharaoh took his goodies with him. Everything you see before you. Hey, ho! Preserve 3,000 years or more. Preserve 3,000 years. Man school. All this stuff's been preserved more than 3,000 years. That means this awesome, licious looking banquet is saved somewhere. <laughs> Scoob, it's our turn to find real buried treasure. Yum. Like we're lost, Scoob, lost in the desert. No food, no shelter, no water, and no ancient banquet. Not even a Scooby snack. Good thing my new thingy has a special bonus feature. Whenever we're in trouble, we just press Y. Why? Kid Y. Well, could you, like, uh, do it out here in Egypt? Egypt? <gasps> you like that? I put my hologram on speed dial. Like we've got to get out of this endless desert before our wretched bones sizzle in the sun. And even more important, we've got to find the lost banquet. Well, let's quit snoring. It's time for exploring. Best place to start? The Great Pyramid of Giza. Hang on! It's all that's left of the seven wonders of the ancient world. These three pyramids were built here about 45 centuries ago, designed to be places where the pharaohs could pass into their afterlife. The workers built them out of millions of limestone bricks. The Great Pyramid is close to 50 stories high. Like, how do you know all this stuff? Kid Y knows why, how, and when. And we studied Egypt in the fifth grade. So, like, tell us about inside the pyramid. Mazes within chambers within mazes. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza. More than two million blocks, each weighing over two tons. I don't even weigh that after Thanksgiving. Right? Probably thousands of workers took more than 10 years to build the Great Pyramid as a tomb for the feral Khufu. Spooky thing is, the feral's body has never been found. In fact, lots of valuable things were missing from these pyramids because of looters and robbers. Like the pharaoh's food? <laughs> Man! They decided to construct hidden underground tombs to foil the thieves. Hope they foiled the food too. Keeps it fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Pyramids to last forever. Emptied out by robbers clever. Tombs dug beneath the ground. Hey ho! Kept the mummy safe and sound. Check this out. Miles of some of the world's greatest monuments, including the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens. Great place for a game of cards. The spectacular Temple of Luxor and mazes of tombs cut into the mountain, completed for Ramses the Great, who came to be known as the King of Kings. And we know what Ramses looked like because his mummy is in the Cairo Museum. Does she carry around his picture? <laughs> Mummies were how they preserved the royalty and other people so their bodies would be there for them in their next lives. Oh, those kind of mummies. <laughs> we already know too much about them. Maybe, maybe not. Nobody today knows exactly how the ancient Egyptians did mummifications, but they knew anatomy so well they could take out the internal organs through a small slit in the body and the brain through the nostrils. Yikes! <laughs> Too much information. They placed the body in a coffin and lowered it into a big stone box called a sarcophagus. Like at what point did they get up and start chasing people? <laughs> Not until somebody invented the movies. Uh, speaking of popcorn. The best way to find your lunch treasure is to follow one of the greatest treasure hunters. A British archeologist, Howard Carter, believed that somewhere in the Valley of Kings, there was something amazing. They searched until, by chance, a stick poked in the ground exposed a limestone step. Down the steps, through a sealed doorway, down a passageway, and behind a second sealed doorway, they found... <laughs> if it's too scary, don't tell us. The tomb of King Tutankhamun, King Tut, Teen Pharaoh. Zoinks! A teenager. He had to have heaps of food around. Can I see your hollow gizmo? Whoa! Whoa! We're in 
King Tut's tomb. Cool. Let's find the mess hall. There's gold everywhere. Golden thrones, golden statues of animals, golden chairs. He even had a solid gold coffin. This was the greatest archaeological discovery ever made. Of course, there was the curse. Tutankhamun was a boy with lots of gold stuff to enjoy. Disturb his tomb, expect the worst. Hey! Wait, whoa, did you say curse? <laughs> curse? Huh, no big deal. Carter's pet canary got eaten by a snake, then his partner in the tomb died after a mosquito bite got infected. So, people said you'd be cursed if you came down here. They did. Yikes and zoinks. Is it too late for us? Come on, guys, there's nothing to the curses. Just a few coincidences and a lot of hyped up stories. Are you sure? I think I feel the sniffles coming on. <laughs> Look! The lost lunch! <laughs> we found it! Hey, don't touch anything. That all belongs here. <laughs> Talk about losing your lunch. I don't think King Tut would like you messing around with this stuff. He wouldn't? Hmm. Guess sometimes you've already got the treasure before you start the hunt. Whoops, my mom. I've got to find my bed under a pyramid of dirty clothes. Thanks for finding us and finding lunch. Hey, I arrive, I depart, I leave you smart. Like Scoob, are you worried about that King Tut's curse getting us for eating his food? Uh oh. Me neither. Scooby Dooby Doo! Blocks of stone rock to this place, many thought from space but they found in later days hey, ho! ships move them on waterways moved on waterways want to know more dare to explore national geographics the place to start when you depart Cannonball! Dive into Nat Geo animal videos. Not like in the zoo. See them free and wild. Really wild. Flip Flip from Nat Geo Kids Magazine. Get zapped by the stories behind the stories. Unknown facts about hot new phenomena and new cool technology. Talk about cool. Explorer Magazine at school. Launch into space with Nat Geo Books. The only limitation, your imagination. Look out for National Geographic TV. Soon to be rocking, socking, and tingling your eyeballs. Or hey, be there for real at the Geographic Bee or join Geography Action. Venture on to your own adventure with incredible new toys from National Geographic and Target. Remote control subs, metal detectors, nothing boring, go get exploring. Whoa, who knew there's so much National Geographic stuff out there? Not me, until now. And there's lots more yet. Check the internet. So flip, read, click, soar, dare to explore.